It's from Game of Thrones. What do you think? I don't know. If we're going to start a fantasy sword collection, and I've long thought we should, <laughs> is this really the sword to start with? What did you have in mind? Well, off the top of my head, I'd have to go with Excalibur. <laughs> it gives you the right to rule England. It would be a replica of a movie prop. Fair enough. It would give you the right to rule a replica of England. <laughs> I don't have an Excalibur here, so what do you want to do? Mm, tough decision. There's no weaponry from Lord of the Rings forged in a Chinese sweatshop. <laughs> mm, just Bilbo bag and sword over there. Two grown men with a hobbit's dagger. Wouldn't we look silly? <laughs> okay, let's go for it. <laughs> oh, I. You guys have found my little treasure. Yeah. It's okay, I guess. It's okay, it's magnificent. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what do you want for it? Well, it's hard to put a price on something that's a copy of something that was on pay cable. <laughs> for my friends, let's say 250. Oh, that's pretty steep. Well, it's a limited edition. They only made 8,000 of these bad boys. <laughs> it's only 8,000. We're wasting precious time. Buy it. <laughs> Hang on. Can you do any better? Are you kidding? I'm already giving you the friends and family discount. Oh, don't you hear that? We're getting the friends and family discount. <laughs> we are honored and we will take it. Slow down. 200. What are you doing? 250 is already a discounted price. Will you shut up? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll go 235. Nope, maybe another time. Okay, 225, my final offer. Oh, take it, take it. <laughs> 200. Man, you're killing me. Killing you, I can't breathe. <laughs> 210 and I'm losing money. Oh no, we can't let him lose money, Leonard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 210 and you throw in the Iron Man helmet. Are you crazy? That helmet's signed by Robert Downey Jr. So? Okay, if you're gonna question the importance of an actor's signature on a plastic helmet from a movie based on a comic book, then all of our lives have no meaning. <laughs> What does a hawk sound like? I don't know. Scree, scree. Please, that's a seagull. If you're not going to help, don't help. Sorry, hey, do you think I'm overdressed? Uh, it, it depends on the activity. For a prostate exam, yes. If you're playing Vegas, I'd add sequins. Well, I'm going to the movies with Penny. I don't want her to think that I think it's a date. Do you think it's a date? No, but she might think I think it's a date even though I don't. Or you might think she thinks you think it's a date even though she doesn't. Are we overthinking this? Not at all. <laughs> You're right, I'm fine. I'm wearing this. Really? A blazer? All right. <laughs> yes, hello. Uh, this is Dr. Sheldon Cooper. I'm at 2311 North Los Robles Avenue. I'd like to report a dangerous wild animal. A blue jay. I'm sorry, this is animal control. I don't understand the laughter. No, the bird is not in my home. If he was in my home, I obviously would have called 911. <laughs> Sir, I have no doubt that there are things that you're frightened of. That, that being stuck in a dead-end public service job. Or, or your wife stepping out on you because you're stuck in a dead-end public service job. Or spiders. Don't you think I tried making cat noises? <laughs> Too casual? For an audience with the queen? Yes. For an evening of passing a bottle of fortified wine around a flaming trash can? Great. thinking whiskers <laughs> uh, Leonard will be here in a moment he's looking for a different parking space why we were next to a car with an ask me about my grandchildren bumper sticker and I was afraid if we ran into them on the way out I'd be obligated to do so <laughs> 
disappointed it didn't work with him and Penny. Me too. Out of deference to them, let's not flaunt our happy relationship. <laughs> you have a keen insight into the human heart, Amy Farrah Fowler. <laughs> We are next to a Subaru with a Gore Lieberman bumper sticker. Well, I doubt they'd want to talk about that, so we're fine. <laughs> I'm surprised to see you here after it went so badly with Penny. Well, hey, we're grown-ups. We can still be friends. Boy, I don't know if I could be friends with Howie if we broke up. Why not? I'm a very vengeful person. <laughs> really? With access to weaponized smallpox. <laughs> Here you go, guys. Let me get you going with some water. You need menus or you know what you want? Well, Leonard knows what he wants, but it looks like he's not going to get it from you. <laughs> no, that's okay, Bernadette. Sometimes these things just don't work out. Yeah, it's all good. We'll, we'll always have feelings for each other. Oh, that's nice. See, she knew it always meant. Wow, you're like a dog with a bone, aren't you? <laughs> I'm just making a point. It's the point that you don't know when to let something go. D do people, people, please, before you say something you both regret, I'd like to place my order. <laughs> just hang on, Sheldon. You know why we can't be together? Because you always have to be right. Uh, that is not true. I gotta go with Leonard on this. He is wrong more than anyone I know. <laughs> you know what? I just realized I'm on a break. I'll get someone else. <laughs> Leonard promised me that when our new waitress comes over, you will not start a complicated on-again, off-again relationship with her because I'm very, very hungry. I came to say I'm sorry. Don't bother. Oh, Amy, please. I'm so humiliated. I sat there the whole time that we were watching Grease thinking you liked the painting. I know. I was a fool from summer loving to the very last ram a lam a lam a ka ding a ding a dong <laughs> You're right. You're absolutely right. I should have been honest with you and told you the gift was too much. Yes, too much. Because our friendship is fundamentally asymmetrical. I clearly like you more than you like me. I don't think you can put a number on how much one person likes another. I bought you a painting that's 12 square feet in area. There's a number. <laughs> Amy, come on. If you don't like feet, you can try dollars. The painting set me back three grand. <laughs> three grand? Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, Amy, all you need to know is you are my friend, and I don't want to lose you out of my life. I'm sorry. I'm just having trouble believing you right now. Grab your hammer. No, damage is done. OK, look, I didn't want to say this, but the real reason I took the painting down was because it made Bernadette very jealous. <laughs> My goodness, how could I have not seen that? The painting is a constant reminder that of the three of us, she is the least cool. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what it is. So, you have such a good heart. Yeah, I try. Come on. Well, where are we going? We're gonna go put this painting back up in your apartment. Well, what about Bernadette? Oh, screw her. She's just lucky we let her hang out with us. <laughs> You could all be inside my head. <laughs> the conversation is sparkling. <laughs> Fine, I'll tell you. A lichen is an organism made up of two separate species, fungi and algae. If you could merge with another species, what species would you pick and why? Hint, there is a right answer. None of you will get it. Okay, um, I'd pick swan because uh, the resulting hybrid would have the advanced industrial civilization of a human and the long, graceful neck I've always dreamed of having. Wrong. Leonard? Horse. But mostly just for the height. A little bit for the genital girth. Wrong. And let's keep it clean, shall we? Kangaroo. Uh, I'd be a uh, Kangajoo. <laughs> the first of my people to dunk a basketball. Also, instead of just living in your mother's house, you could actually live inside her body. <laughs> Clap 
ever, but also wrong. No, the best organism for human beings to merge with is the lichen itself. That way you'd be human, fungus, and algae. Triple threat. <laughs> like three bean salad. Give me one circumstance in which that would be useful. All right, picture this. A beautiful outdoor concert. Now, as a human, I appreciate Beethoven. As a fungus, I have a terrific view growing out of a towering maple tree. And no thank you expensive concessions, because as an algae, I'll just snack on this sunlight. <laughs> Got us again? No, he didn't. <laughs> Anyway, if it's okay with you, we should talk about Howard's bachelor party. What? Like a bit of a letdown after our lichen conversation, but what do you know? You're half swan. <laughs> I've been doing some research on strippers. One agency I spoke to said they can get us a great price if we're flexible on age range and number of limbs. <laughs> Sounds like loads of fun, but I promise Bernadette no strippers. <laughs> you don't want strippers? You're the king of strippers. That one club in North Hollywood named a pole after you. <laughs> what can I tell you? I'm not into that stuff anymore. Good for you, Howard. I'm proud of you. And still, you're the first one of us to get married. We have to do something special. You know Germans have an interesting pre-wedding yeah, custom. It's probably not for me. <laughs> Maybe we can go up to uh, Napa Valley. They've got that wine train. No, boo, wine. But yay trains, I'm in. <laughs> Anyway, it's a beautiful time of year. Uh, you... magic. Look at that. In 30 seconds, we went from hiring them into being them. Knock, 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 Penny. Knock, 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 Penny. Knock, 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 Penny. What's this? Leonard told me what happened, so I took it upon myself to make you a hot beverage. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Turns out being sweet isn't enough to keep a girl these days. I blame Madonna. I'm sorry to hear about you and Amy. No, I'm sorry about Leonard. Thought I raised him better than that. You know, it's bad enough what happened, but then he tried to hide the fact that he sees her all the time at the university. He does? Who is it? Some girl named Mandy. Mandy Chow? Yeah. Oh, well, you don't need to worry about her. She's brilliant and attractive. She can do way better than Leonard. <laughs> That's great. <clears throat> it, wait a minute. I know this may sound far-fetched, but I'm on the market now. You know, if I dated Mandy, that would teach both Leonard and Amy a lesson. Oh, wait, that's ridiculous. Oh, you're right. I could never be with a woman whose self-esteem was so low she'd be with Leonard. I'm with Leonard. Yeah, I know. Forever. <sighs> Who would have believed these things would happen to us? Right? No, I can't believe Amy actually went through with it. Hang on. You knew that she was going to end it with me? Did you try and stop her? Like, told her to be true to herself and do what makes her happy. Do what makes her happy? She plays the harp and her car is paid for. How much happier can she be? <laughs> hey, look, it's not my fault that she thought you were a bad boyfriend. I see. Well. Think I'll be going? <laughs> Just hold it. No, 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 no.